Hello, welcome back to the channel. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit dull in here with the light. The reason for that is, if we just have a look, quick look outside here. Look at the state of the weather out here. It's actually eight o'clock in the morning. Who would have known there'd be another hour, another eight o'clock in the morning? But look at this, look how frosty the cars are. Wow, it's absolutely freezing out here. Look at this, everything's caught in frost. Anyway, the reason for starting the video this early in the morning is because I'm off on an acquisition adventure. And we're going to be travelling for a couple of hours. We're going southwards and we're going to pick up another car. I can't believe how frosty it is out here and how dark it is still. Never mind, it will pick up. Hopefully it'll get a bit warmer. Hopefully where we're going, there won't be too much snow kicking out because oh, it's going to be hard work getting this one on the trailer. It doesn't run. I know for a fact it doesn't run. I'll let you into knowing what it is a little bit further on in the video. But for now, though, we're just waiting for the transport and the trailer to turn up. And then we're off down south. Okay, then. Doors all locked up. House is all locked up, ready to go. Here's the vehicle of choice and the trailer. The state of that. How frosty that is. Anyway, let's get in the car and get on our way. As you can see, it's very wintry out here, but it is currently something like minus four, minus five outside. And uh, we're on our way to Kendall in the Lake District to pick up a project car. Obviously, I'll tell you more about the car when we get there when we've actually seen the car. I can't say there's no engine in it, there's no gearbox in it. It's very definitely a rolling shell and a project, but it's gorgeous. It's weird to say it on the video. But we'll, uh, I'll give you a little bit more run, a little bit more footage of what it's like and get some of these views in up here as we're on the way at the lakes. And then uh, we'll get back into the car when we we'll get there. Well, here we are at the side of the road. The check engine light came on, so we've opened the bonnet and look, the engine's still there, so that's alright. But look at that view over there. Sky's lovely and blue, sun's out, nothing's defrosting or everything's still frozen. I've no idea where we are, we just stopped in the middle of anywhere at some... Corby. Oh, we're in Corby apparently. Village called Corby. We're in a village called Corby. Anyway, back on the road. We're in Kendall, and that's it there, a 1938 Chevy sedan. Needs a little bit of work. <laughs> It'll be on the road next weekend, bit of filler. Be all right. Yeah. Just getting the car and trailer in place so we can load it up. This is the exciting part.
course this is a bit that takes the longest. Trying to get everything in position to uh, get it on the trailer. Hopefully this will work. I'm going to pull the back end sideways so it'll line up with the trailer. Hasn't got far to travel, has it? Just a few feet and it'll be on the back of the trailer. And that's where the battery died. The car was safely loaded on the trailer, as you can see. That's us pulling out the drive. Now the car is safely home, covered, waiting to, uh, to be attacked and be worked on and turned into a proper hot rod. Thanks for watching this one. But if you've enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel to see more stuff like this. And of course, if you enjoyed it, give it a like. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye for now.